Hi guys, I'm back again doing some videos. Uh, it's been a while because I've been busy racing and traveling, so today I figured that I wanted to cover a subject which I received many questions about over the years, actually since we introduced uh, the system on the car four years ago. It's been a frequent question in my inbox, so uh, the subject is ARS, the active rear suspension, which is mounted on this car right here. And what is ARS? It's a system which works a little different to the regular rear suspension. It means that you can adjust the way the suspension acts when it compresses, so you can set the toe to be, to be active. And this can have big benefits on the handling and give you more corner speed. So I'm going to explain the difference between the two suspensions and when to use them. So what you want to do is you need to take a look at the track where you're going to race at. Normally for carpet, we prefer the rear suspension uh, standard because it's more predictable and a little easier to drive for carpet tracks. A bit more stable off power that makes the rear a bit more locked in. And it's just, it has a bigger setup window for carpet. However, for asphalt, we found, especially for big tracks, uh, fast tracks with many sweeping corners, uh, when, when there's not too many bumps and when the grip is medium to high, we really like the, the ARS rear suspension because it gives you more corner speed and makes the car quicker for those kind of tracks. Uh, it's really track specific, so you need to try both to figure out what, what works better. And it also has a lot of uh, tunability and you can adjust the ARS to work differently. I'm going to explain it to you now. The first thing I'm going to explain is the difference in materials that you can use uh, for the ARS. Because obviously here you have a C-hub instead of the traditional rear hub. And you have a steering lock from the front suspension. And you can choose material for all these three parts, the arm, the steering lock and the C-hub. We prefer to use the graphite arm. Uh, like we do with the normal rear arm, which will free up the car and give you more corner speed. It will give you a bit more steering as well. And it's particularly useful in hot conditions. So we always use the graphite rear arm. And furthermore, we prefer most of the time the aluminum C-hub instead of the plastic, even the plastic graphite C-hub. The reason being that the aluminium C-hub gives you more rear traction, it makes the car more stable because the car will not move as much off power so especially under braking the car will be more stable and actually the same goes for the steering block the stiffer you go for the steering block the more stable the car will be and if you go for a softer steering block like the, the hard or the medium over the graphite that will free up the rear end and it will make the car a little less consistent but it will definitely make the rear rotate harder. The next thing that I need to mention is something that most people don't know about or it's not widely known is that the normal rear arm and ARS rear arm they have a different thickness around the, the hinge pin so this will affect the way that you measure your downstop. So I'm going to demonstrate the distance here. On the ARS arm is 6.5. On the normal arm it's a little beefier. It's uh, 7.1. So it's a 0.6 millimeter difference around this area. Which means that it's 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters of downstop difference so when you measure your downstop with the hoodie downstop gauge you're gonna have to look out for a 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters difference so for, for instance if you're running 4.4 uh, of rear downstop with the ARS it means that with the normal rear arm you're gonna have to run 0.2 less so 4.2 in this case or even 4.1 in that area. You don't necessarily have to make this 
adjustment in the setup when you switch the arms but it's important to know that to have the same downstop you need to to have a different value the next thing i would like to explain is the difference between uh, inboard and outboard tow so for example you can run the arm with more towing and the outside with less or the other way around i mean normally we start our basic setup is like with the normal suspension we use the same suspension inserts or almost the same so quite a lot of inboard tow two and a half degrees or two degrees and then you adjust the the other degree of toe on the outside so for example we run two degrees here and one degree here so in total three degrees which is a good basic setting for for the ARS but you can also run it the other way around so you can make the rear arm straighter you adjust the suspension inserts to make the arm straighter and you add more toe on the outside however when you do this you you make the car narrower and you also you lengthen the wheelbase so actually what you're doing is you're changing the geometry quite a lot and this will affect the handling so from our experience more inboard toe gives you more rear traction makes the car more stable but you need to take into account that when you change the suspension inserts you change uh, three different things you change the track width you change the wheelbase and you also change the shock position because when you move the hinge pin you also move the the suspension geometry by the fact that you move the shock inwards or outwards so you actually change the shock angle and these are very critical things to take into account so i'm now going to demonstrate how the active rear suspension actually works uh, in reality so i got a car set up here good to go race ready with a battery in it and i'm gonna show you on the tow gauge what it actually does so in this case i got three degrees of static tow and when I, when I push the suspension down, when I compress it, I can see that there's a very slight increase of toe. I mean, barely nothing, just 0.1 or 0.2. And this is the result of having uh, no shims on the, on the rear link for the ARS. So no shim here and none on the inside as well. And this is our basic setting, is the most neutral setting. Uh, makes the car fairly stable. However, you can obviously change this. To adjust the handling so for argument's sake i'm gonna put a two millimeter shim on the outside point and show you what happens so this will change the way the toe acts under compression in fact when you when you add a shim on the outside point the toe will not increase but will actually open on suspension compression so i'm gonna add a two millimeter shim here it's quite a big change usually it's too much normally we use just one millimeter or half a millimeter i'm gonna put this back together as you can see the static toe is still three degrees when i push it down it's uh, opening so it's just 2.7 or 2.6 0.3 or 0.4 of toe loss on compression and this will obviously affect the handling a lot it will free up the rear end it will give you more steering so we often get the question why do you run the ARS I mean it's supposed to be an active rear suspension if you don't if you're not running it active if you're not running any toe gain or, or toe loss and the reason for that is is not as simple as that I mean you change a lot of things when you put the ARS suspension on the car First of all, you change the weight bias of the car because this suspension is a lot heavier than the standard suspension. So you actually shift the weight bias of the car towards the back. So for asphalt, that's very beneficial sometimes because it's easier to achieve a 50-50 weight bias from front to back. And this will, on most tracks, make the car more aggressive and give you more corner speed. So that's one of the reasons why it's so different, even though you have no toe gain. Another reason is the way the suspension flexes because obviously you have completely different shape of, of um, a rear hub you have a c hub you have a steering block and another link here so 
So it's all going to be a little stiffer, especially when you run the aluminium uh, C-hub. So the flex also affects the handling a lot. So it's not as simple as on a tow game. You actually change a lot of things on the suspension with the ARS.